Last week in Two Minute Minor, we talked about forward line combinations. And because I believe in equality, I promised to show some love to defense this week. In hockey, that is defense spelled with a C, D-E-F-E-N-C-E. If you want to stay true to hockey's origins, slash just sound cool, slash bougie, defense wins championships is somewhat of an antiquated colloquialism across sports. We say it a lot. But in the NHL specifically, the value of a two-way player, a true offensive defenseman, can't be understated. Over the years, defensemen, their identity has evolved beyond the strictly stay-at-home origins. Thanks to the play of legends like Bobby Orr, the idea of offensive defense emerged. And these days, blue liners that can play end-to-end are not just a hot commodity. They are a necessity for teams in serious pursuit of the Stanley Cup. In 2018-2019, the St. Louis Blues captain and defenseman Alex Petrangelo was the fifth leading point scorer on the team through the regular season. He upped his game even more in the postseason, adding 19 points and helping the Blues lift their first ever Stanley Cup. Yep, play Gloria. The previous year, the Washington Capitals claimed the trophy with the help of John Carlson, who scored 68 points while playing all 82 regular season games. You'll see this often. A lot of defensemen are absolute warriors. The Penguins needed the offensive effort of blue liner Justin Schultz to hoist the cup the year previous. You get the picture. Generating offensive opportunities is one way to keep the puck out of the hands of the opposition and in essence play defense. Because hockey is played at such a ridiculously fast, almost continuous pace, it helps to stop looking at offense and defense as two separate entities and start looking at the end of every defensive play as the beginning of an offensive attack. Ideally, defensemen can play offense even when the other team has the puck. Of the 20 players that are allowed to suit up for an NHL game, two are goalkeepers, 12 are forwards. That leaves three pairs of defensemen on your bench. Yay for remedial math, Lydia. They follow the same pattern as forward line combinations in that star players or captains are typically found in the first pairing and will spend the most time on the ice. Defense pairings can fluctuate based on chemistry between two players, but really you can bet handedness is a huge part of the equation. If a defenseman is forced to play in an offhand position like a left-handed defenseman playing on the right side, that creates a lot of problems, makes passing and adjustments on the fly more difficult. According to Corsica Hockey, one of the best defensive pairings in hockey right now belongs to the Carolina Hurricanes. Jacob Slavin and Dougie Hamilton are giving opponents fits with a combined rating of 78.38. That's for the fellow nerds out there. Slavin is left-handed and plays on the left. Hamilton shoots with his right and, you guessed it, plays on the right. To boil it all down, in hockey, defense wins championships, sure. But the best defensemen keep the opponent out of the net while creating offensive opportunities of their own.